Six developers tackle one of the greatest challenges yet, to create an online multiplayer video game. The rules are simple, each creator has four hours to work on the project, and the extra spicy twist is that no communication between devs is allowed. This makes for major misunderstandings, game dev beef, and shocking twists in the game's direction. So the question is, will we be able to make a cohesive and fun multiplayer game? It's the final challenge of the year and make or break, all six devs will get together at the end of the video to play their multiplayer game together. So let's start this brand new project with developer number one. Hey guys, I'm Liam from Blackthorn Prods. Now for this edition of the Pass the Game Challenge, I wanted to spice things up a little bit by making an online multiplayer game. That's right guys, it's going to be a really hard challenge, but it's going to be super exciting. Now my part was sadly not the most fun because I needed to make the entire multiplayer structure. So I decided to use Photon2 to help me out. I created this connect to server scene where you could enter a username and then connect to the Photon servers. I have this lobby scene where you can either create a room or join an already existing one and we have this cool little character selection scene where you could choose the character you want to play with of course for now it's only basic prototype shapes after that I just had the time to spawn in the different game characters in the scene make them move around and shoot of course this is a multiplayer game so I had to sync all of that across the network so there you go four hours are up it's a pretty basic but solid base and I'm excited to see what the others are going to do with it that's all from peoples over and out all right, it's my turn. So it seems like Liam's been building the basic framework for a multiplayer game, and it's also going for a kind of top-down shooter style experience. So let's see what we can do with this. First of all, I improved the arena visuals and then made some cartoony spaceships for each player. I also quickly played around with some shaders to make the environment wobble with life. I polished the loading and character selection scenes and then gave players a common health bar. The vision is that players must defeat hordes of enemies as a team, but their projectiles can also harm each other. So hopefully this game becomes a manic bullet hell where the players themselves unwillingly contribute to the dangerous chaos simply by shooting at enemies. A lot of time was also spent trying to sync up the multiplayer between a different from players. I also added a cool chat system in a couple minutes thanks to Stream, which is the sponsor of this video. Now players can send messages to each other and even react to them. Streamer recently released their 4.0 version and this makes implementing a chat into your multiplayer games ridiculously easy. So you can sign up for a free makers account using the link in the description and add your own chat to your games. It's definitely the most plug and play automated solution on the market and is constantly evolving and improving. Okay, now passing on the project to developer number three. Hey everyone, I'm Rugby. Bug. I make photon tutorials on YouTube and I'm currently working on a multiplayer first person shooter on Steam. The first thing I did when I got the project from Noah was to build the game and test it out. So far you spawn in as a ship and can move and shoot, but the bullets don't hurt the enemies. There's also a chat window. I spent a while reading through all the code in the project to understand how everything worked. I found a bug where when you shot one player, everybody's health bar would decrease, so I fixed that. I only realized afterwards that Noah and Liam had probably intended for this to be some sort of co-op game with a shared health bar but it's like this now and I don't really feel like changing it back. The current size of the arena felt a little cramped for six players, so I decided to scale it up. I wrote a script that made the camera follow the player and decorated the new area with these cool planets and clouds so it didn't feel so empty. There were already some enemies set up in the game and I wanted to include them somehow, so I came up with an idea where you'll have multiple spawners for different types of enemies and they spawn enemies around them and then you can go and kill the enemies to get money and it would be kind of like a competitive game where you'd have to fight with other other players to gather resources and then you could also kill other players to take their money so I made this enemy spawner that just instantiates the enemy prefab at random positions in a circle right now the game wasn't very challenging because the enemies just sat there so I made a new type of enemy that followed you around and did damage when it touched you I also added a particle effect when you shoot enemies and an explosion when you die the new enemies were really laggy if you weren't the host so I fixed this by having each client simulate its own enemy AI and then just having the host sync which player the enemy was currently targeting. I added another big enemy, a scoreboard, some more particle effects and animations, and I made it so that when you kill other players, you gain half their money and you lose half your money when you die. One thing I failed to address is that money doesn't actually do anything right now. It's just kind of there. So I'm excited to see where the next dev takes the project. Okay, we are halfway through the project, but there is still a lot of work to do. And remember, every dev will be playing the game together at the end of the video and the best performing player will receive a reward to add extra tension to the gameplay session. All right, moving on to developer number four. Alrighty, time to start working on the... <laughs> 
No, no, no. The game isn't working. Someone created a bug. Why would they hand me the project files like this? Okay, so I fixed the bug. I knew I was one of the early devs just based off of the fact that the game was feeling simple. So my goal was to nurture this newborn and teach it some fundamentals. I started with the most apparent problem. The way the spaceship moved felt kind of lame. So I tried out velocity-based movement, which certainly gave it more weight and made it feel more spaceshipy. but I felt like it just made it more difficult to maneuver for no good reason. So I scrapped that and eventually came to the conclusion that the fundamental problem lied with how the camera moved. It currently just stuck to the player. So I took some inspiration from Enter the Gungeon's ingenious camera where the camera moves between the character and where you're aiming. This allows you to see more of what's ahead of you so you can react to things better, but also hides more of what's behind you, which makes things more realistic. So instantly the gameplay was feeling more dynamic and I wanted to keep injecting action into the game. But one of the problems I noticed was that there was a lot of threats to the player. For example, other players can shoot and kill you and there are enemies where it's literally impossible to run away from. All of these made the player feel weak and that's no good. We need more power. So I created a dash mechanic where the player doesn't take damage while they're dashing. I also repurposed the death particles to make some dash particles. Wow. But because we're making a multiplayer game, I also had to network and play those particles on everyone else's client. At this point, I didn't have much time left. So I did the logical thing to do and I tried to invent an entirely new language for the enemies. <sighs> And after various questionable attempts, I finally had Then I hooked up these alien voices to play when the enemies get aggroed. And to top it off, I added this ambient sci-fi sound just because it felt a little awkward just hearing the voices. And that's all for now, folks. Hey everyone, I'm Jason and I teach people how to make games on YouTube. So I got handed over this multiplayer game. I was really excited because I love multiplayer development. It's kind of what I've spent most of my time doing throughout my career. I built it out and here it is with three players running and this is a lot more interesting. I like the idea of getting a bunch of points and then blasting each other to try to get to the top of the leaderboard. First, I wanna add a countdown timer so that there's actually like some limiting factor there when we battle and see who wins and maybe like a who won message at the end. That worked pretty well and I beat myself. So let's add in something else. I think that I want to make it hard for whoever's in the lead to stay in the lead. So let's add an arrow that points to whoever's winning. The last thing I wanted to add was a power up so that you could pick something up and maybe get a little bit of a superpower or a spread shot, but I didn't completely finish it. So right now I put a power up spawner in and then made a power up prefab that just doubles your rate of fire. So it'll spawn one of these somewhere on the map. I don't even know if people are going to notice that it's there. Hopefully somebody takes it and modifies it and makes it even better though, or I'll just pick it up and be the only one that knows about it and blow everybody up. I guess we'll see. All right. Okay, so I opened the project and spent quite a bit of time just playing around with it and figuring out what was even going on, writing down some things that needed changing. The first thing I noticed was that nothing feels very satisfying or responsive, so I need to make sure that I add sounds and screen shake to give the players some feedback. To start off, using a few different websites, I worked on some sounds for shooting, hitting enemies, killing enemies, getting hurt, and the game ending. And because the multiplayer made it kind of difficult, this took me an hour and a half. I then added a screen shake for some of the actions as well, improving upon the feedback even more. I moved this text that says who wins into the center and gave it a smooth animation and also attempted to create a sprite for a crosshair in the Blackthorn prod style which I think turned out surprisingly well and is definitely an improvement over the default emoji that was there before. I also made my own sprite for this arrow which points to the winning player. Now I've also noticed that once the game timer reaches zero it just suddenly ends with no warning. So to increase tension at the end of the game I added a ticking clock sound that plays for the last five seconds. I then decided to add some player usernames above all the characters, just so you can tell exactly who you're looking at or about to kill. Once again, because these involve dealing with multiplayer and certain players, this proved to be quite difficult and took quite a bit of time, but eventually I was able to get it working. Next to the names, I also tried to add a money counter for each player, so you could tell how much you could get from killing them, but in the time I had, I just wasn't able to figure out how to retrieve the enemy's money amount from the server, so I couldn't do it. 
With only about 30 minutes left, I wanted to add tutorial text at the start of the game session, so I added these instructions with some animations which looked pretty nice. I quickly fixed a couple more bugs I'd found, and then my time was up, and I had to send the game back over as it was. This challenge was really fun to participate in, and while maybe I didn't get to add as many new features as some of the other developers might have, I think I did still make a decent impact on the end game and how polished it is. If you want, go and check out my channel on YouTube. And thanks to Blackthorn Prod for having me. Okay, the game is complete. Now it's time to get together and see who will be the ultimate champion. Unfortunately, Liam went to Finland for the Christmas holidays and Jason wasn't available either, which leaves us with four contestants. Myself, Jankster, Rug, and Dev Banana. I think the winner should have like some reward. If one of you three are the winners, I'm suggesting, you know, making you a custom design. You tell me to create this and I'll create it. The design would be on a cool displate poster, like a metal poster. If I win, <laughs> each turn by turn, you sing for me live a very cringe song of my choosing. <laughs> 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 I'm, I can move. Can everybody move? I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Um, First player who gets to three points wins. Oh no. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Currently, I'm going to a fierce duel with Rug Bug. Okay, I'm out. Oh, oh Dead Banana is really close. How am I so bad at this? <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. oh, this is not looking ah. good for me. Oh, Rug Bug. So hey, 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 Alliance, Alliance, Alliance. <laughs> I'm so low. Shit. Okay. No, I, I died at well. the last oh. second. Oh my god. Wait a second. God. A, a Jackster was a surprise win, man. Okay. Insane. Okay, one point for a Jackster. Oh man, I'm getting this enormous barrage of oh. <laughs> product tiles from Rug. <laughs> oh, Rug, <Rock>, no! <laughs> Nothing hit me. So that might have been a little bug I implemented. When I press the Z key, everybody dies. Oh. Rug's gonna win, I think, here. Die, Rug. Okay, no. one point for Rug. Man, Dead Banana's doing well, so Dead Banana might be the, the winner here. I killed myself! No way! Oh, I, <laughs> I just ran into one! Oh no! I think mine enemies. Damn it, there's this giant enemy just following me savagely. What does uh, this power up actually do? Why am I taking damage and he's hitting me? <laughs> Damn it! Don't look at me, I'm pathetic! I'm like a third. Oh, a Jackster wins. No. Okay, guys, a Jackster's at two points. At two points now? A Jackster, if he wins another game, he's the ultimate winner. We have to avoid all costs and a Jackster win. And I think the key is to stay in second the entire time. Until the very end. Yeah, 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 it's like Mario Kart. True, because the other players are not hunting you down at least, yeah. Oh! A Jackster's, a Jackster's winning again, guys, quick! Oh. Oh. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah. Okay, oh, look at the red. I have dead banana What blood. a battle. What a battle. Huh. Hey, oh, I no, I can't, I I can't overtake him. Oh my god. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. No, 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 no. 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 Yes. Wait, who wins? Oh, wait, I'm out of one. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes, dead banana. <laughs> Good job, man. So we played a couple more games and got to the point where Rug and a Jackster were both tied at two points. Dead Banana with one, and I also miraculously got a last minute win. The thing is, we need to get yeah. Rug Bug and a Jackster. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> I definitely know we need to get Rug Bug. Man, 10 seconds left, guys. Everything's still in game here. We're talking about a custom no, no. name to Dead Banana's right here. Between a Jackster and Rug Bug. No, Rug Bug. Oh, oh Rug Bug's oh, gonna win. Oh, yes. Oh. Congrats, Rug Bug. You are the ultimate winner. I'm leaving the game. <laughs> My, my heart's racing, man. The stakes made that intense. Yeah, Rug being the winner, I made him a custom art piece and sent it to him. You can play Martian Mayhem using the link in the description, but I'm warning you, it's quite buggy, and since we're using the free version of Photon, there can only be 20 concurrent players. Subscribe, and see you real soon. Happy New Year. Cheers.